there were three server side encryption options in amazon s3 to protect data at rest now amazon s3 added fourth one that supports two independent layers of server side encryption with aws kms key and amazon s3 is the only cloud object storage service that supports multi layers of server side encryption at object level dual layers server side encryption is designed to meet national security systems policy cnssp15 and data at rest capability package darcp for two layers of cnsa encryption each layer of encryption uses a different implementation of 256 bit aes gcm algorithm with individual data encryption key it uses aws key management service aws kms for generating data key so you have full control on kms key permission and rotation it is great for the use case that demands rigorous security standards or top secret workloads for example us department of defense customers using aws s3 management console we can configure dual layer encryption at s3 bucket level and that will apply encryption on all new objects by default for rest api we can pass aws kms dsc encryption and kms key id as header with put or copy request for an object we can do the same using aws cli if we do not provide kms key id then amazon s3 will use the aws managed key aws s3 similar to other server side encryption we can use iam or bucket policies to enforce dual layer server side encryption let's jump into aws s3 management console for some hands on in s3 management console let's click create bucket and give the bucket name scroll down and here you will see the option to choose different type of encryption type server side encryption with aws managed keys is the default one and this is the new one dual layer server side encryption with aws key management service keys and this one provides two separate layers of encryption so let's choose this one and then you need to choose aws kms keys click the drop down and you should see the kms keys in case if you have more than 100 kms keys then probably will not see in this list in that case you need to enter that earn so in my case i have already created one kms keys so either you can select this kms key from the drop down or you can just directly copy the earn paste it here here in bucket key it says S3 bucket key reduces encryption cost by lowering calls to AWS KMS but S3 bucket keys are not supported for dual layer server side encryption and it makes sense because we are talking about high level of security not about cost though i have selected dual layer server side encryption still both enable and disable options are available here so probably there will not be any impact if we select any of this so let's click create bucket click properties scroll down here we can see encryption type is dual layer server side encryption with this kms key so let's go back and try to upload one file so let's upload file one click upload once uploaded click close then click the file scroll down and we can see this file is encrypted by dual layer server side encryption with this key so this is the new bucket that we have created with dual layer so this is the new bucket that we have created with dual layer server side encryption settings at bucket level so whatever files we will upload within this bucket all the files will be encrypted by dual layer server side encryption 
this one is existing bucket that I have created with server side encryption using HD managed keys and this file is encrypted with server side encryption using S3 managed keys. Now we'll change now we'll change that uh, encryption type from S3 managed keys to dual layer server side encryption. So let's click edit then change it to dual layer server side encryption with KMS and let's choose that KMS key then save changes now I have changed that encryption type from server side encryption S3 managed keys to dual layer server side encryption with KMS now we'll check what happened with existing file let's click the file scroll down and we can see it is still server side encryption with s3 managed key so that means even if we change that bucket level encryption type it will not impact that existing file so let's upload one new file let's check file is uploaded successfully let's close then click file 3 and we can see the new file is encrypted with dual layer server side encryption. Now let's try the same operation using AWS CLI. So for that purpose I have already created another bucket with uh, encryption type server side encryption with S3 managed keys. Then we will try to upload objects using command line to this bucket. So we are going to use AWS CLI and so we need to provide the bucket name. We need to provide the object key, then server side encryption type. In our case, we will provide dual layer server side encryption, KMS key ID, and finally the file path. We'll run two different commands. In the first command, we'll provide this KMS key ID. In the second command, we'll not provide KMS key ID and we'll see what is the difference so let's copy this command i already have file 4 and file 5.txt so let's try to upload that in the first command i'm going to upload file 4 using dsse encryption type and kms key id also i'm going to run this command in debug mode then i can show you what happens in REST API because ultimately everything is API in AWS and AWS command is also going to make a REST API call and from there I can show you what we need to pass to this REST API as header hit enter so it's uploaded let's go to bucket refresh and yes we can see the file 4 so let's click file 4 scroll down and we can see encryption type is dual layer server side encryption and the ARN let's check the debug log okay here you can see we are making rest API call and this is the put request and we are passing two headers for encryption type and the second header is for KMS ID now we'll try the second command where we'll pass that uh, encryption type but we will not pass any KMS key ID and let's say this is our file 5 file 5 so let's copy this paste again we will pass debug option it's created let's go back to the bucket hit refresh yes we can see file 5 let's click file 5 scroll down and we can see the encryption type is dual layer server side encryption and encryption key is this one which is different from the last one let's click this one and we can see this is AWS managed key AWS S3 so in summary 
if we pass the encryption type and if we do not pass KMS key ID, then Amazon S3 will use Amazon S3 managed key. If you want to enforce dual layer encryption for a specific bucket, you can make use of the bucket policy. In the bucket policy, you can deny any S3 put object if server side encryption is not dual layer server side encryption. Let's try in the command line what happens if we try to upload without dual layer server side encryption. So let's remove the encryption. Hit enter. Now you can see access denied. I learned a lot during my AWS 11x certifications. I will share all those resources here. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you are on the same journey.